I pissed somebody off today. Hooray! Hey guys, Jim Edwards here, and welcome to another edition of Letting the Chickens Out with Jim. By the way, I'm feeling much better, and thank you for those of you who sent me get well wishes over the last week and a half. My whatever was going on seems to have cleared up, so of course I'm going to go overdo it today and make myself sick again. That's what my wife says. But hey, I pissed somebody off today. Hooray! What am I talking about? Well, more on that in just a second, but I got a cool story for you real quick. So, it's got to be close to 19 years ago. Um, I was at a Christmas party, and at the party was the associate editor of the newspaper that I wrote for, and I was talking to him for a minute. He said, hey, I got a complaint about you today. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> I didn't say, oh, crap, but I was like, What? And he said, yeah, somebody uh, called in and was really pissed off about one of the articles you'd written. I'd written about this password manager thing. And uh, I said, oh, man, I'm, I'm sorry. And he said, I'm not. I was like, what? He said, I'm not. If they're pissed off, I know they're reading the paper. So <laughs> he said, just keep doing what you're doing. I was like, crap, I don't even understand what just happened. And then about five years later... I um, I was at a mastermind meeting and I heard somebody say a phrase that I have since adopted as my own. And it was a guy named Matt Fury who said, love me, hate me, there's no money in the middle. And I love that so much and I've used it so much that I actually made it a chapter in my book. For those of you who care, it's on it's secret number 21 on page 181. In fact, if any of you who've gotten the book... Um, say in the comments, you know, hey, love me, hate me, there's no money in the middle. Let me know if you've used that secret yet. So what that means is that you're not going to get anybody to buy from you. You're not going to get anybody to react from you by playing the middle of the road or react to you by playing the middle of the road. You've, you've got to take a stand. And when you take a stand, some people are going to get pissed. Some people are going to get pissy. Some people are going to get butt hurt. Some people are going to act like little punks. And you know what? The more butt hurt they get and the more they act like punks, the more money you can make. Why? Because it forces people to make a decision and it forces people to react to you. So, who did I piss off today? Well, I posted an article this morning, and the title of it was, If You Want to Make Sales, You Gotta Make Enemies. Now, obviously, that's a hooky headline. That's actually a really attractive hooky headline. And so, in the article, I explain that you basically, if you want to pull people towards you, then you need to create a common enemy, which can be a person, a place, an event, whatever, because if it's the two of you together, it's you and, you know, the two of you together against a common foe, then it creates that, that effect of the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So if you're together against somebody else, it pulls people towards you. It's a very common uh, copywriting technique. It's a very effective sales sec technique. But anyway, I posted this article, and these people start freaking out. I mean, not just freaking out, like writing these big-ass long diatribes of why this is unethical and this is wrong and blah, 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 blah. And I'm just thinking to myself, you're just proving my point because all these other people are coming in and looking at the... Um, coming in looking at the post going, hey, this is great. Hey, Jim, great, great advice. Thanks. And then another guy says, oh, unethical marketing at its finest. I'm like, if, did you even read it? Which is a whole nother thing. So my point, though, is that I got excited because I had pissed somebody off because I knew that I had hit a nerve. Because anytime you hit a nerve with one group, you know you're hitting a nerve with another group. Because the ones that attack you and go, rrr, 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 the other ones are gonna go, oh no, 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 don't you come after Jim, that kind of a thing. And that's what you want. You gotta stir people up. Just make sure that when you stir them up, you've got your poop together. Don't just go out there and, you know, be like the fifth grader in the back of the classroom 
who, who screams like fart and then looks around like who said that? I mean, you can't just stir stuff up for the sake of stirring stuff up, but you do want to stir people up and make them make a, make a decision about you. Love me, hate me, no money in the middle. All right. So what's the point of all this? Well, the point of all this is that this stuff works. All right. And if you ha already have the book today, I want you to turn to page 181 and I want you to say to yourself, how can I piss somebody off? No, I don't want you to do, don't do that. But what I want you to do is go to page 181 and actually think to yourself, how could I make people make uh, a decision about me today? How, how could I force people to have an opinion about something today and use it to build my business? So... I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Who here is going to Funnel Hacking Live? I will be at Funnel Hacking Live next week. It's going to be amazing. Um, also, if you would like to learn all kinds of cool stuff about copywriting and sales and how to make people mad at you, uh, make sure you check out the gym boat. We're taking early birds now. Uh, and right now it's still cold outside and all I can think about is that cruise next November. So I'm Jim Edwards. I hope you have a wonderful day. Go piss somebody, excuse me, go have somebody make an opinion about you today and uh, I, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye everybody.